Weaving has been a part and parcel of life for the Lotha tribe from the past. Every woman was supposed to know weaving, as it was the only means which could get them the clothing. It was an essential part in the sense it provided status to the women regarding clothing that they provided. Even with the advancement of technologies like handloom and mass production, handwoven products are still coveted and they are more expensive. This traditional art is something very original and natural. The weaving implements include a wooden loom, njo chung lung, sitam zero, ena ying ye, made of various pieces of bamboos and hardwood trees. Earlier warp was made sitting on the loom itself with the help of another person. And that is how, as a kid, we got to get involved in this art through helping the elders. Mm. There are various kinds of cultural attire for the women. Sitangro is the original wrap around for the Lotha women. Advent of modernization and globalization have indeed led to the decline in the use of cultural attire and likewise the number of weavers. <laughs> Speaking from my personal experience, I've been engaged in my academic pursuits and extracurricular activities that I never realized the importance of this tradition. However, as a future generation, I do so feel sad for being unable to read. I didn't know that they have invented a convenient and easier way of making the warp single-handedly and which also requires less physical effort. I wish from my heart that someday when I have time, I would love to learn weaving. I truly feel that every younger generation should learn this beautiful art. With India and her, Renjan Ohunzoe from Wokha Nagaland.